powerful prayer for miracles and protection. God is always desirous and willing to protect and miraculously provide for his people. Miracles and protection are among the heritages of the believers in God. God says in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy God, I will strengthen thee, yea. I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. The Amplified Bible puts it this way. Do not fear anything. For I am with you. Do not be afraid. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. Be assured I will help you. I will certainly take hold of you with my righteous right hand. A hand of justice. Of power. Of victory. Of salvation. So God promises his people protection and helps at all times. And concerning miracles. He says in Isaiah chapter 43 verses 19 and 20. Behold. I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me. The dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. To give drink to my people. My chosen. Our God can make things to happen against the known natural laws and principles of this planet. So miracles, protection and divine providence are among the wills of our God for you. Miracles will happen in your life today. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God's desires for you will be activated today through prayers and faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. And as we pray now, God's wills for you. In regard to protection and miracles shall be activated and put into functioning in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. He gonna put a hedge of protection over all that you have got. In the mighty name of Jesus. You're going to receive miracles in all areas of your life through divine interventions today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those expectations of yours. That have been delayed. Shall be speedily released and manifested in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look, my brother and sister in Christ. As we go into prayer this moment. I need you to do just one thing for me, believe with all your conviction that God will take care of that situation. That everything will turn around for the better. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description box. God bless you. Let us pray. Father Lord thank you for your love and good plans for me. It's for your grace and mercy, that we are not consumed. Thank you for your ever sufficient love, protection and provisions. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, as this season draws near, I ask and pray that you send your angels to increase their surveillance over my life and family and all that you have blessed me with. In the name of Jesus Christ. For I know that enemy the devil and his agents and cohorts will not be happy seeing me flourishing in your grace, favor and blessings. Therefore Father Lord, I ask and pray you to protect and deliver me from the plots, wishes and malevolent schemes of the enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let every of their evil plans and works against me perish with them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let all the malfeasances of the devil and his wicked demons come to nullity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, I ask not only those alone but also that you miraculously perfect everything concerning me and my family this season. In accordance with your word of Psalms 138 verse 8. Which is also your will for me. Which says. And the Lord will perfect that which concerneth me, thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever, forsake not the works of thine own hands. Therefore Heavenly Father, for this reason, I therefore ask you for a miraculous change of story in my business, finances and career. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your miracles happen in my health and marriage, my finances and engagements. And every aspect of my life that needs miraculous intervention. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I call on you O Lord, who is worthy of praise, and have been saving me from my enemies. 
Come and deliver me dear Lord in accordance with your word of Psalms 34 verse 19 which says that many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivereth him out of them all and that the righteous may have many troubles but the Lord delivers him from them all therefore dear father Lord I pray be fast and speedy to save and deliver me from my troubles and plots of the enemies against me in the name of Jesus Christ Lord like in your word of Psalms 40 verse 1. Lord, you say that I should wait patiently for the Lord, and you will incline unto me, and hear my cry. On you O Lord, I absolutely trust and hope for deliverance from every known and unknown, visible and invisible troubles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, have mercy on me my God, for in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. Lord, deliver me from my enemies, O God, be my fortress against those who are attacking me. For your word says in Psalms 138 verse 7, that though I walk in the midst of troubles, you will preserve my life, you will stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes, and that with your right hand you will save me. Therefore dear Lord, save me and keep me safe. Lord, from the hands of the wicked, protect me from the violent, who devise ways to trip my feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, all these I pray and ask of you dearest Lord. In the glorified name of your Son and my Lord Jesus the Christ. Grant me a miraculous change of story in my health, businesses and finance O Lord. In accordance with your word of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. And Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19. For in your word of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. You say, Ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Therefore Father Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus, for a financial open door, business open door, career open door, and an all-around open door for progress and prosperity in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, as you open me these doors, May they never be shut again against me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it is written in your word of Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. I know thy works, behold. I have set before thee an open door. And no man can shut it, for thou hast a little strength. And hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Father, let this be my lot with the doors you have opened for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord. In Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19 you say, Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. Lord, do unto me a miracle in every area of my life begging for your divine intervention. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear miracles working Father, set before me an ever open access to wealth, favor, honor, riches and all-round success in all the areas that I desire success and breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, go before me and clear every obstacle and anything that constitute a hindrance and clog on my wheels of progress and success. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And in accordance with your word of Isaiah chapter 45 verses 2 and 3 that says, I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Lord, let this be my portion, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now let me pray for you. Everlasting Father King of Glory, I bring before you, my listeners. Lord, they desire miracles and your divine protection. And like your word says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. Lord, I hereby bring before you the desires and yawning of these people. For thy people they are. Lord, here they are praying unto thee as the psalmist says in Psalms 25. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, 
I trust in thee, let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea. Let none that wait on thee be ashamed, let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways. O Lord, teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth. And teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation, on thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions, according to thy mercy remember thou me for thy goodness sake. O Lord, therefore dear Father Lord, hear ye their heart's desires and grant their expectations and requests. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.